how to transfer data from an Android phone over to the iPhone 7. So whether you have a Samsung, HTC or Sony Android phone, you can now easily migrate the data over to the new phone. To do so, you first need to go into the Play Store on your Android phone and download an app called Move to iOS and open it. I have already installed the app on my phone to make it quick. So once you do that on your iPhone, you need to set up the phone for the, for the first time. If you have already completed the setup process, you will need to reset it again and start fresh again. By resetting the phone, you may lose some of the data on the phone. So I'll just tap on next. And I'll tap on enable location services. And at this stage, you want to tap on move data from Android and tap on continued now you come up with a special code and on your Android phone tap on continued now you need to agree and so find your code tap on next at the top and here I'm going to key in the code 772862 and now I say connecting to the iPhone So we just wait for the two devices to connect to each other. So now it is preparing, you can see. So on the Android phone, it is preparing. And we're going to migrate the data over to the iPhone. This process may take some time. So depending on the memory size on your Android phone, if you have a lot of uh, memories on your phone, for example, if your Android phone have 128 gigs of data and over your iPhone you only have 32 gig, then obviously it's not going to have enough storage space. So just be mindful when you're transferring over to the iPhone that you have enough uh, storage space. After some time of waiting, you can now uh, see that there is a transfer data screen. And here you have the option to select what you want to transfer over, uh, such as a Google account, uh, messages, contacts, calendar, or camera row. So the camera row is the photos in the gallery on Android. So make a selection of what you want to transfer over. Uh, for example, if you do not want to transfer uh, photos over, you can deselect them. If you not, do you not want to uh, select uh, calendar, simply deselect calendar and it will not transfer the data over. So make your selection and tap on the next button and it will say now say so that move to iOS. The transfer process can take quite a long time uh, depending on the amount of data that you have. If you have like 50 gig or 60 gig of data it can take quite a while. So just be patient and uh, wait for the phone to transfer all the data over. During this uh, process make sure that you don't uh, turn off the phone, make sure that you don't open another app otherwise you have to start the whole process over again. Now tap on the done when, this, uh, when, you're on, when your Android phone shows transfers done. And uh, now that is completed on the Android phone and uh, we are waiting for the iPhone 7 to uh, move things into place. Uh, it will organize photos into the photos folders or messages into the messaging app. So just wait for the phone to do its things and uh, once it is uh, completed you will be able to go into the iOS and open up uh, photos and contacts and other things to uh, double check to make sure that you have uh, uh, successfully moved everything over including contacts etc. Once uh, you have confirmed that everything is migrated over successfully you can then decide to uh, erase your Android phone or leave things as they are. And that's it. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos.